Good morning, my name is Dr. Juan Bru. Today, I want to talk to you about corrective breast surgery. And by corrective breast surgery, I mean surgery to improve or modify a previously done breast surgery, in this case, a breast augmentation. The American Society of Plastic Surgery reports about 300,000 breast augmentations uh, a year. And they report about 100,000 mastopexies or breast lifts a year. I, early on in my career, used to do more breast augmentations than breast lifts, but I recently looked at those numbers and I uh, was surprised to see that I do about double as many breast lifts than augmentations. A lot of these are people that have had previous augmentation surgery that are coming in for corrections. And uh, the corrections vary uh, a lot from patient to patient, and that's what makes it so interesting. One of the stories that I hear a lot is of patients that uh, had a breast augmentation early on in their youth, and then they go on to get married and have children, and they breastfeed, and they experience also significant weight changes during pregnancy or otherwise. Well, this has a significant impact on the shape and form of your breast and even of your skin. So after all those experiences have happened, patients notice that their breasts don't look that pretty anymore. And sometimes the patients had an earlier augmentation with saline breast implants, and we know now that silicone breast implants are so much better in the way they perform as uh, breast substitutes that it is uh, a logical thing to switch them, uh, the original saline implants to uh, silicone implants. Another problem that I usually see is that the original implants were placed in front of the muscle and we know that uh, that presentation has a higher tendency to develop what is called capsule contraction. So um, a classic conversion that I do is to take saline implants that were placed in front of the muscle and convert them to silicone breast implants that are now placed under the muscle. Now that combination oftentimes comes with uh, a little bit of sagginess and looseness of the skin, and therefore a lift or mastopexy comes in really handy to reshape that breast to a prettier looking breast. Other problems that I can mention are implants that were placed under the muscle originally, but they tend to drift over time. So normally the muscle action sometimes will compress the implant and make it shift to the side and sometimes to the bottom, causing that dreaded deformity called a double bubble deformity. So those are things that are 100% um, correctable with simple suture techniques and other more complicated techniques. What I see nowadays is that there is a tremendous need for corrective surgery, and a lot of patients that have had an augmentation sometime in the past are not really aware that there's some things that can be done to improve their breast at this stage. From what I see and from what I do, I'm very, very positive about uh, how good of an impact it can have in your body image to have those problems corrected. So I'll invite you to come and visit me or look at our website uh, to follow up on any of these problems.